Hello! Let's do this, people, in 4K! Uh, this is another episode of Pappy's Dirty Kitchen. Yeah! How y'all doing? Uh, let's see if we can zoom in on me. Hello? Yeah, this episode is uh, my uh, stir-fry sauce recipe. And I hope you dig it and are ready for it. Like, let's do this, people. Let's do this. Alright, so let's get back out. I'm having fun with this new 4K and controlling it from my phone. Alright, but uh, I still need a camera person. Alright, but anywho, uh, it's pretty simple. It's pretty much four, well, five ingredients. One of them being water. But uh, we've got, uh, I don't know if you can see it here. We've got better than bullion. Yeah, those cubes suck. And uh, a lot of Swanson chickens chicken broth. I used it once in one of my recipes. Oh, I'm going to need more than this. We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. But anywho, to this, uh, four cups of water. Add some uh, better than bouillon to your taste. And I've got a couple tasting spoons friggin' going on friggin' uh, for this situation. But yeah, I'm going to have to grab another. I didn't realize this was that empty. You know? But yeah, better than bouillon. And they have a low sodium, which is groovy. You just use maybe a little bit more. Uh, but anyway, it's like 50 cents more, and I find that interesting. Because if it's low sodium, that means you don't add salt. So you're not adding anything to the recipe. Why is it more expensive? I just don't get it. All right. So is this in brand new beer? I think it is. Is this one? I have a couple of them. I think this one's no. They're both brand newbies. I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm gonna grab this one because this one feels heavier than this one, and this one might have been open. Nope. Nope. It's groovy. All right. So anyway, I've got a spoon here, a big spoon, tablespoon, or whatever. So uh, I'm adding friggin' another friggin' to the four cups. Another freaking tablespoon. And you want and this is hot water. Hot water people. Alright, so I'm gonna use one of the tasting spoons and scrape off the spoon. Stir it around. Stir it around. It's all groovy. Alright, scrape off the spoon. Get all that uh, chicken base. Yeah, better than bullion is really groovy, man. Once I got turned on to it, I never went back. Frig Swanson, but yeah, Swanson, friggin', they gave me a bunch of coupons because they ruined, I can't remember what I was making, but it was like a $30 friggin', it might have been a stir fry, but I don't think it was a stir fry, it was something else. <coughs> Don't worry, that's just a weed cough. I hope. But, uh, anywho, they gave me, like, I don't know, $15 in coupons or something. Because I told them, I said, I bought your product and I threw it in there. And whatever I made tasted like friggin' bleach and friggin', yeah. So, uh, it was gross. And it ruined my, I can't remember what the frig I was making. But, anywho, they, they made it good, I guess, by uh, giving me uh, coupons on Prego. I got some of my, uh, let's try this with the tasting spoon. Mmm. Mmm. That's perfect. Not too salty. Friggin' tastes like chicken. Alright. Let's uh, put this lid back on. And uh, toss this shit. It should be recycled, but uh, I don't know. I 
I don't know how to do that around here. I mean, I kind of do, but I'm lazy. And I've got, uh, I've got pretty much five grandchildren now. And, uh, shh. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, so we got the chicken stock in there. Or chicken base and all make that taste groovy. Alright, so now we're going to add some silver swan. I highly recommend it. It's from the Philippines. Soy sauce. It's better than Kikamin. You know? And don't use lechoy. That is so gross. Alright, so let's, uh, let's dump in. Probably, let's see. I just wanted some brownness. So that's maybe a three-quarter cup. Maybe. Let's grab our stirring spoon. Check this out. Alright. That sort of is brown. I want a little bit more brown than that. So, uh, let's call it a cup. Let's call it a cup. Or whatever. Alright. So, uh, we got our soy sauce in there. We've got our chicken stock. Oh, that's looking perfect. Alright. So now, uh, Hey, if you honey crystallize, let's see if this works. I patiently opened up the lid on this uh, Hannaford Pure Clover Honey, cheap honey. And uh, it was crystallized and wouldn't pour out earlier. So I learned this before, friggin'. And let's see if this works. Uh, you patiently microwave it. And uh, there's one tablespoon, two tablespoons, and a half maybe three and if you don't like the sweetness that's okay you know so we add that and stir it around so about mm, two and a half tablespoons of honey but yeah if your honey gets crystallized do it in small zaps, otherwise you melt the container, and if it's in glass, you'll you'll fucking break it. It'll shatter it in the microwave. I think that's happened to me before, when it's been crystallized. Don't do that. You gotta do small zaps. And if it's got a label on it, especially on glass or whatever, it's gonna heat that freaking glass up wicked. So, yeah, do it like 10 seconds. But yeah, some people would have thrown away that honey. Oh. Now, honey is fine, honey. All right, so let's check out the, uh, all right, so I have, where's my other tasting spoon? All right, with, with COVID and everything, I'm being cautious. Mmm, mmm, that's pretty close, but it needs, a, for me, it needs a little more honey. It needs to be a little more sweeter. Alright, so I'm probably adding another tablespoon or whatever. There we go. I think that's perfect. Now we move on to the final ingredient. Well, yet not. Uh, for this recipe, friggin', the final ingredient, about a tablespoon and a half of sesame oil. A little bit more. It looks pretty groovy. I love the friggin'. I don't know about you as the hippie. But when you pour in the oil and stuff and it's spinning around. And it's making all these orbs or whatever bubbles that are hooking together and moving about. And everything. It's really cool. Uh, Alright. So let's stir this together. Oh. That looks glee. Glee, then. What scene shall we start with? Scene one, of course. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's all mixed together with the honey and the chicken broth and the soy sauce and the uh, sesame oil. And it's, she's pretty much done. But if you're a hothead, you freaking add some sriracha. But I always figure, you know, the people, if you're going to cook this for people... The people that dig the hot stuff, you can always add that to the plate after it's finished. You can squirt 
some sriracha on it and you mix it together or whatever right there in your dish as opposed to making everything hot you know right then and there but uh yeah anywho's that's pretty much it and oh wait a minute hold on so uh i bought chicken on oh it's not in the freezer i bought chicken on sale and it was a uh, boneless skinless breast and uh this is sort of it i anticipated it uh stuck together but yeah oh uh oh she just came un unglued she came unglued and i just got cornstarch all over me and all over the floor yay that's awesome i really love that shit when it happens all right but uh yeah, anywho, we got uh, cut up pieces of chicken, bringing small pieces or whatever bite size or two bite size, and we got them in uh, cornstarch, that's it, and you fry these up for about mm, five to six minutes in a fryer, and you prepare this before your stir fry, or while you're doing your stir fry. And uh, it might take, with this amount, it'll take two batches or whatever. I do a big stir fry. I feed an army. An army of one. But, uh, yeah. It, you gotta let it sit in the refrigerator. I had this sitting overnight. And it's gonna probably sit until tomorrow when I actually do this. And I'm gonna put this sauce away uh, for tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. Friggin', uh. I can't believe I just got cornstarch everywhere, all over me and all over the floor. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But anywho's, friggin', uh, yeah, this is, you, you want to do your uh, chicken and cornstarch, man, not flour. It's more crunchy and it absorbs the friggin', it's just like the friggin' takeout, man, the Chinese takeout, the American Chinese takeout, man. Friggin, you can do general chicken this way or whatever. Uh, yeah, I really don't know if this is a Szechuan. I mean, you can add fish sauce and oyster sauce and uh, hoisin sauce to this and make it more uh, authentic and everything. But the simple four, five ingredient, one of them being water, friggin, and really good soy sauce. You know, frig that, if you use friggin' uh, LaChoy, man, I'm sorry for you. Kikamin is okay, but I'm telling you, Silver Swan, Silver Swan is the, the friggin' bee's knees, the cat's meow. And uh, somebody's, somebody's texting me right now, or messaging me. But anywho's, uh, yeah, that's, that's the gist of it. And, uh. When you uh, cook your uh, stir fry with whatever vegetables and stuff you do, or whatever, uh, have half and half garlic and fresh ginger minced. And you put that in the oil in the pan, and then you saute or whatever, fry up. But I, I pretty much don't do a chicken stir fry, I do a chicken boil. I take all, I, I, I throw in the friggin' ginger and garlic and oil in the pan and season the oil friggin with those uh, with the garlic and ginger and then uh, add the vegetables and uh, stir that around and then I just add the sauce man and uh, I uh, cook it into, with the cover on until the vegetables are to a texture I dig I really don't dig the uh, hard, uh, regular stir fry, the fresh, everybody says the more you cook it, you're cooking out the uh, nutrients, but if you got the sauce, the nutrients are going into the sauce. So, uh, and it's easier on teeth, you know? Friggin' certain people, I'm included, and friggin' texture is everything. And uh, with vegetables, I don't partic particularly like them so they're mash, but, uh, tender you know but if you like them a little bit uh you can still do this same recipe idea 
And uh, if you like a more al dente or firmer friggin' vegetable, just don't steam it as long. But uh, at some point, you gotta add a, a slurry of uh, cornstarch and uh, uh, to thicken it up and add a sheen. Add a sheen to the aesthetics of the meal. Because cornstarch and the thickener it adds a sheen, man. It looks groovy. And, uh, yeah. And you got to make sure when you add it, it's got to come up to a boil. But you don't boil it too long. Because if you boil it too long, it'll ruin everything as far as the thickness. It'll go over the top and it'll change into just thinness again. But, uh, yeah. All right, I don't have to go over there. I can just do it from over here. Anyway, this has been another episode of Pappy's Dirty Kitchen in 4K. <laughs>